Okay, so um, this is the second episode of the SaaS building a SaaS from scratch. So today I have some list of things that we're going to be doing uh, on the SaaS project. I haven't been working on the SaaS project, to be honest, for the past few weeks because I've been bombarded with um, client projects and work. Like my work, this is, as you know, it is a side project. Um, but in the future, trying to make sure that I can make it one of the main projects. What we're going to be doing today is mainly kind of like coding and uh, we're going to go on Clubhouse today with the guys so that we can talk about what we're going to be doing. We had a discussion about changing the whole uh, perspective, perspective of Next to be coming from the business side instead of like we pushing out the narrative that is for roommates. Um, although we, we stuck to the roommate part of it, but in the future we might open up a pro version of it. Today we're going to be connecting APIs and basically the authentication flow, making it work like the register, uh, the Google authentication. We are using Firebase authentication, although we, that's all what we use on Firebase. Uh, yeah, Firebase and FCM. We're also going to use FCM, but um, it's going to be fairly easy because we didn't want to do our custom route or custom APIs to do all this stuff when we have. You don't don't remake stuff that is already there. That's the advice. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and it's currently what's the time? So, um, so it's currently 1 p.m. here in India. Um, I'm going to be waiting for the for the guys. I think they're going to be awake. No, not awake, but they're going to start working on this by 12 p.m. their time. So it's around like 4:30 my time. Uh, for, for me here, I'm just going to start doing some cleanups, um, trying to just connect the API before they they get up, and maybe we'll discuss some more things about uh, the SaaS business. This is like our first time running, trying to run a SaaS business. Uh, it's not like we have experience doing this, um, but on the way, it's kind of a documenting the learning process of how we go through this. Maybe <laughs> one day get into like. 1k mrr yeah so uh my develop is up to date so i'm just going to pull it I, i've been working on the laptop um on this project but um on the macbook m1 Mac, on this project but today i decided to stay on on uh the iMac to work so i'm just going to i think i already have a clone version of this so um while this is installing uh i'm just going to tell you what I'm going to be doing today. So today I'm going to be integrating the authentication APIs, uh, especially with the register and then the, um, try to, as much as I can to integrate even with Google authentication, Apple authentication, and I think Facebook, do we have? I think we have Facebook. Um, why I'm doing Apple authentication, although it's very good now, um, because now you can hide your email. It's not good for, the, <laughs> for us because someone can just turn off his email but if, if i'm going to be the customer it's good for me because um, people don't spam me immediately they spam, start spamming me i can block them easily or delete the, the email easily um but yeah so an apple doesn't allow you to push in other login authentication without there so it's a rule that if you're pushing to app store you have to also push um with apple authentication but yeah uh, just waiting for this to finish. CocoaPot installing some packages, some native packages. Uh, hopefully, it runs one time because there's this problem with the ARM based chip because I had to uh, do some modification for the ARM based chip. So, hopefully, it still runs on the x86. Crossing my fingers. Now, I'm just going to yarn iOS so it's like run iOS. So, it's it's a command on react native you go react native run ios but it's on my package.json so you just do yarn ios or npm run ios or npm yarn run ios okay the um, the simulator is booted uh now just with all oh, it's it's literally I, I don't think you can hear this i don't know if the mic is picking it up but the iMac fans are going nuts <laughs> I never get this on the on the MacBook M1 Max. By the way, it's like always silent. Even on battery, I usually use it on battery, so it's always silent. I I don't hear the fans go on. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but 
this is the simulator with the app running boom 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 yeah we're, we're up and running so so since now we got the app run up and running what i will be doing is uh i do have the the code base here so what i will be doing is um doing some uh api integration so i will open my postman because we currently have our documentation on postman uh we didn't want to use swagger and connect this stuff it's easier to just put it there although it would have been nice just to create an api and documentation is already there generated auto generated but yeah it is what it is so because we're using firebase authentication and firebase the firebase library has a way for us to persist our auth so we're going to use the library for the authentication instead of like keeping it from the back end in the back end so we're going to use the sdk firebase sdk to log in so after you use the sdk to log in or to create an account to create an account um, at this point uh we need to still save some data so your first name your last name things that are needed to the database and because we're not using firestore we're not using the firebase database um we're currently using postgres so we need to send it to our backend for it to um verify that you have signed up and we can now update your uh, user model with your details so that later on we can get it back so this is currently what i'm going to be doing this login is kind of done it's done actually the register is where um i need to integrate so i'm just going to get this thing done i'm talking too much at this point but i'm just going to get it done and then i'll just see you in in a couple of minutes so um i have done some work some some part of the integration so for me to explain we use mobex and uh, not redux um we do have like a service uh file where we keep all our apis uh we also separate them into different modules and then we do have modules for um mobex which we store our data for our state management so every module or every feature has can have like its uh its own model so what we do normally is we expose the api from the services and then we call it in our mobex actions kind of and then from our mobile action we do all our business logic so that we keep you we keep the components clean and then from the business logic we can call it into another another place so um we currently because we're going to be using auth in so many places so i created a hook use auth uh where it exposes um sign in sign up and some sign out so that it's quite easy for us to just uh use that hook and plug it anywhere uh instead of like calling it through mobex we we want to be able to like have all club all these features into one place and and if you have worked in a proper uh, company uh, you will see that they do all these things just to make sure that everything around uh, the code base is is clean uh, and, and and also uh, we we are striving we're, we're trying to get to a point where we were going to be doing test driven development instead of like just writing code we're going to write some um, unit tests we actually do have unit tests set up um, for the models and some few components um, but in the future we're going to be it's going to be like a proper we have to write tests before even doing some integration so so that we don't have to worry about some things breaking in the in production or things breaking in development or whatever yeah so i'm i'm, I'm just going to go out step out for a bit uh get some fresh air i need uh, to do some run some errands and then i will be back i think i'll be back when they are live just got back and now i will pray uh then i'll be answer and then i will try to contact uh, my friends I, I don't know if you can see this uh but the last time i showed you this app uh i i forgot some part of it um because there there was like a form that was already there so it, this is the create uh, roster form so it's like you can see the calendar here 
uh, every other thing that uh, you do while creating a form and then also there, sh there is um, uh, there is uh, create hub I think yep yeah. yep so this is the create hub and I click on that it takes me to this page I, I forgot to show you this but yeah this is also done and we're going to integrate this all at a at a time like step by step because we're trying to do end-to-end -end, um uh, testing like making sure it is like a full fully tested uh unit tested like uh, an integration tested um application well yeah i just wanted to show you before i get on the call with happy it's currently almost 6 p.m um but i i just texted habib and he says he was about to start the session we're going to discuss um some uh some features that we are meant to do uh we're trying to finish up all the api so that we can integrate it and push out uh the the first build yeah so um we, we i just met with habib on clubhouse and we decided to uh do some peer programming uh to integrate some like the full authentication flow uh we were thinking about authenticating um like finishing up even the google stuff it's currently like 6 15 my time and I, I might have to leave for iftar to go eat uh, break my fast soon so that's what we were talking about but um for now for now he's going to send me a link on zoom so that we can go on zoom and do some peer programming so that we can finish this stuff and get a, like a a good version now i'm going on the call he sent me the link for the video call uh, i'm just going to go on the call and then we can um, finish up the peer programming for just a little bit so that uh we can get something out there but yeah see you um when we're done Okay, uh, this will be the end of the video. We we ended up um, doing the integration. We finished the whole authentication, the register integration actually, not the whole registration integration. We we got some problems with um, Heroku. I think Heroku has some problems, some legal legal problems, and they switched off all um, automation on deployment. So we had to do a manual script for it so some github on github actions so that we can deploy the backend automatically immediately we push to to the master um but yeah that took a lot of time after that we have to now integrate the register page which we successfully finished and it actually worked once which is very it's surprising it does usually these things don't work especially when you're trying to integrate stuff uh ui most of the time it works once um but integrating stuff is kind is always um it's always a hassle you have to go back and forth to test if it works or not but yeah it, it did work and yeah um overall we're happy with the progress we made uh on the next session we're going to actually be uh, covering this whole integration with tests which is very very important because these flows are supposed to be as stable as we can we don't have time but yeah we cannot still afford to not write unit tests for or integration tests for this uh, because it's like a vital uh, part of the app but yeah um but this since we are, we are done with this um i will just see you uh, in the next episode of building a SaaS product from scratch Okay, um, see you in the next video. Peace. Can I keep this camera rolling like this? Will you be Subscribe.